Hi everybody, welcome to the Knitted Kitchen Blog Hop. I'm Pia with Stitches and Scraps, and today we're going to be working on washcloth number 20, which is the butterfly stitch. Lion Brand was nice enough to send me yarn to make this design, and the yarn that we're working with today is their 24-7 cotton in the lilac colorway. So I've got some of the square done already. You can see the seed stitch at the bottom and then the butterfly stitches going up. I made these kind of loose because I like the way that they look this way, but you can also make them a little bit tighter where they look a little bit more like, like that. Um, so either way, whatever your preference is, it's all in how loose you keep these, um, these bars as we go across when we slip the stitches. And we're going to get into how that works in a second. So where I'm at is I have just finished the butterfly stitch and then I did purl across on the wrong side. So I'm ready to start another section of butterfly stitch and they're staggered. So it's going to go here um, in between these stitches and I'm working on the nine inch square. So all of the numbers that I say are going to be for the nine inch square. Um, the pattern should have the changes for the 12 inch square. So I start with my four stitches of seed stitch and on this square we're starting with slipping the yarn or slipping the first stitch knit wise so as if we're going to knit with the yarn in the back because we purl the last stitch of each round and that gives us a um, or of each row and that gives us this nice clean selvage on on the side okay so slip the first stitch then it's knit purl knit and that is our four stitch seed stitch border um, knit. Okay, now we get to a one stitch just knit buffer that I've got before we start the pattern. Um, now the next five stitches are going to be this first repeat. And what we're going to do is we're going to create these horizontal bars that go across it. We're going to do that by bringing the yarn to the front of the work. Okay, don't worry about tension too much right at this second. Bring the yarn to the front of the work and slip the next five stitches. Okay, three four, five. Now is when we worry about tension. We're going to bring this yarn back around to the back of the work and you can see what that's done is it's made this horizontal bar go across. The tighter we pull the bar, the tighter these are going to be at the end. So if you want it to look like that, make it a little bit more snug. If you want it to look like this, make it a little bit more loose. So I like it a little loose, so I actually sometimes use my thumb to help me with the tension and the way I'm doing that is I just stick my thumb there and that gives me a little extra play so then I hold it down here while I do the next stitch. So we're going to knit across the next five because we're staggering so this would be the this is the repeat that we did here. So we just knit across these and now that we've knit a couple of stitches this is nicely held in place and it's the right size you can tug on it a little bit if you want to adjust. Um, so I'm knitting across these five stitches and then we come to the next butterfly. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Bring the yarn to the front, slip five stitches. Okay, now I use my thumb to help me with the tension and I've got my nice little loop there and then I knit the next stitch and then I can let go of my loop. So knit across the next five stitches, one more, and you can see where the butterfly ends. You see this is the beginning of the next butterfly, so you don't even, if you lose count, it's not even that big of a deal. You can read where each butterfly stitch is. They're nice big motifs, so you're not going to lose it in the work. Three, four, five. Around my thumb. Hold it, knit one. Oh, I think I made that a little tight. No, it looks okay. And then continue knitting across these five. Four, five. Okay, check that I'm in the right place. And one more. One, whoops. All right, so I dropped a stitch. Here's how you pick up a stitch when you drop it. Get it on the hook, or I mean, get it on the needle. Put the dropped loop on the needle and pull this over. That's to pick up a knit stitch. Okay, 
So slipping these stitches, two, three, four, five. All right, I got five. Loop this around my thumb and hold it. That's a little loose. That's about where I want it. So you can see that I, I give it a little bit of give. Play with it and see what works for you. Um, you may want it looser, you may want it tighter. So this is the one stitch buffer that I've got at the edge and now I've got four stitches left for my seed stitch border which is knit, purl, knit, and purl. You should always be ending on a purl stitch. Okay, for the wrong side row, I'm mostly going to just purl all the way across. I start with my seed stitch border, which is the, again, the slip, knit, purl, and knit. And then for the rest of this row, I'm just going to purl all the way across to the last four stitches and then do that seed stitch border. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you don't have to watch me purl. Okay, I've come to the last four stitches and I'm going to do my border again, which is knit, purl, knit, purl. And that finishes the wrong side row. All of the wrong side rows are just going to be purling straight across. All the work is done on the right side rows on this one. So for two more right side rows, we're going to do exactly what we just did. I'm going to show you the first couple of, of butterflies, and then after that I'll speed up and, and get to you after we've done these two rows. So, slip, knit, purl, knit, knit the one stitch for the buffer at the edge. And now I've got the butterfly motif to do, so I bring my yarn to the front. Slip five, one, two, three, four, five, and then I, I use my thumb to help me tension the yarn. You don't have to do that, it's up to you, whatever's comfortable for you. So I use my thumb, I hold it in place, I make sure this needle's not in the way. That's where I want my loop, and knit the next five. And I can let go once I've got the needle out of the way and got everything secured. So I'll do one more. So there's three, four, and five. And now again, bring the yarn to the front, slip one, two, three, four, five, figure out your tension, hold it in place, and knit the next five. One, two, and after a couple I always like to wiggle it to make sure that I've got the tension that I want, and I do, they're pretty even. If this was tighter than this one, that was gonna, that's going to look funny, so be sure to, uh, be sure to check your tension after each, after each bar to make sure that they're fairly even. It takes a little bit of practice, um, but it's worth it, otherwise you get really floppy looking butterflies. So four, five, and so on and so forth. I'm going to continue to do this for another, for this row and then one more, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've finished three of the right side rows, and on the wrong side just doing the purl all the way across other than the seed stitch edge. Um, so you can see I have three horizontal bars going across each area where I'm going to do the butterfly stitch. And for the most part, they're pretty even. This one here got a little bit loose, but otherwise they're all pretty even. And that's what we want to see. We want to see three straight horizontal bars that are all about the same size. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tie them all together to finish the butterfly stitch. This is the fun round, fun row. So we start with our slip stitch and the seed stitch border. So knit, purl, whoops, purl and knit. Now we have that one stitch buffer on the edge that we've got and now this butterfly goes over these five stitches. Where we want to tie it together is in that middle stitch. So the first two stitches we're just going to work as normal, just knit like normal, okay? Now here's where we want to tie it together in that third stitch. 
what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle and put it underneath all three of those bars carefully because we don't want to pick up any other bits. Put it under all three of those bars and now knit our stitch like normal. And after we knit it, bring it back out underneath all of those bars. So now you can see we've made our knit stitch and it's kind of captured all three of those bars together. And then we continue to knit across until we get to the middle of the next butterfly. So there's the two stitches that finish this butterfly. And then there's five stitches to go across the space that we're not doing because we're staggering our butterflies. Four. Oh, that was five. Okay. So now I'm up to the five stitches that make up the next butterfly. Let's do the same thing again. Knit two to get to the middle. Okay. Now we want to pick up all three of these. So we're going to take our hook from the front go around underneath all three of those. And don't worry if they twist a little bit, they, they'll twist and untwist on you. Um, now finish your knit stitch like normal. And then after you do your knit stitch, and you can even pull it off, but afterwards you just bring your needle back out under those three again. Now it looks like I missed one there, doesn't it? Okay, so we're gonna have to redo that. So let's undo that stitch and try this again. And that'll happen, don't worry, just undo it and do it again. Go underneath all three bars, make sure you've got all three. Yep, now I've got all three. Knit this stitch, pull it under those three bars again so that it's back out to the front, and finish off your stitch. There you go. Now two more for this section. Five to get across the next section. Three, four, Five, and then two more to get into the middle of the next butterfly again. Make sure I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place. So I go underneath all three bars. Make sure I've got all three. Knit this stitch. Pull it back out underneath all three bars. And keep going. And I like to wiggle it a little bit. Make sure I've got all of the things in there. They're moving around freely. And go to the next one. Okay, we're back in the middle of the next one, underneath all three bars, knit the stitch, and pull it back out underneath all the three bars. And finish this off with, oops, and don't drop your stitches. <laughs> there we go. So finish this off with two more stitches, and then one for the buffer, and then the four stitch border, which is knit, purl, knit and purl. So that is the end of that row and here's what it looks like. You can see that these they're basically just knit stitches that have captured the the three um, horizontal bars all together and it gives you almost like a V shape. The straighter that or the the tighter that you make these bars the straighter this will be. So if you make like suppose I had made it that tight, it would be straight like that. Um, the looser you make the bars, the more floppy it's going to be here. So whatever look you like. I like this look because it doesn't make the fabric pucker as much. When you look at the back, you're going to see little puckers everywhere that we've got a butterfly stitch. The tighter that you make your butterfly stitch, the more it will pucker. So you can actually get a nice diamond design if on the front and the back if you make the stitches fairly tight but I didn't want a lot of, of puckering I wanted it more flat so that's why I made the stitches a little bit looser so you can really play with it to get different looks and after a few rows this is what it looks like and now I'm almost done with this square I actually just need to put the seed stitch border on it I believe and I will be all done with it so that's how you make the butterfly stitch thank you for joining us and come back next time for another fun stitch